I'm so stressed out over my kids' interest and what they're going to do with their lives. Are you stressed out over the fact that you do not know your kids' interest? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Trent and this is Fatherhood Confessions. First, before I go any further, I want to thank you, each and every one of you, that clicked that like button, that shared it, but ultimately subscribed. You have helped me reach 900 subscribers. So give yourself a pat on the back. If you haven't liked, subscribed, and you haven't rang that bell yet, why don't you go ahead? It would help the channel and would help me, and I would thoroughly appreciate it. I don't know where you are in your parenting journey. I don't know if your kids are young, if they're middle-aged, or they're up to the point of teenagehood, or even older. But I know one thing, at whatever level your kid's at, us as parents have stressed out or the fact that we cannot or we have not yet identified our kid's interest. When my kids were young, I stressed myself out so much. And if there's a tip, if there's a word of encouragement I can give to you, mom, dad, parents, is to not stress out or the fact that you can't identify your kid's interest. I tried my kid's hands in hockey and soccer in karate and all kinds of different activities and I tried to prune their skill level in so many different areas but it seemed like there was a lull a point in time when they weren't interested in anything it was just TV shows and video games you probably know what I'm talking about I'd find myself worrying stressed out uh, a very uh, concern the fact that my kids really weren't interested in anything and it would ca sometimes cause sleepless nights and I would have many conversations with my wife about the fact that hey I we don't know what our kids interest in we got to find it out we got to find it out right now but I know in everything that I put my kids hands to really quickly they found out they didn't really like it or they weren't interested and they didn't have a natural a pull to that very thing whether it's a talent an activity or some kind of event i want to take my son for instance right now my son's 15 years old when he was younger i put him in soccer i put him in karate uh, we tried uh, ice hockey we tried skating we tried all kinds of things i mean things i can't even remember right now and it all seemed to fall flat. It was at that point in time when someone, another parent came to me and said, hey, don't stress out over your, of the fact that you don't know your kid's interest and that they don't know it either because there's gonna come a time when they're gonna naturally find out their niche, what they really, really enjoy doing and what clicks with them. It was at that time that I just decided to drop the whole push and that whole urgency of trying to find it, get them involved in a lot of things. It was like pulling teeth, you know what I'm talking about. Get them to go to certain events, get them to attend certain things, uh, play certain sports, and it was just like pulling teeth. At that moment, I just let it go, and I basically told them and went to them and said, hey, if there's anything on your mind that you think you would like to do, an interest level or a talent you would like to develop, just come and talk to me and I will help you do that. And so I just let it go. It's very easy to forget that raising kids is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And it <clears throat> takes time for them to figure out their personality, figure out their interest level and where their talents lie. Again, I just had to let it go. I released it. I, I, I guess just took the foot off the gas and trusted time and space to help them naturally find out what their abilities were. The whole message here about not stressing out over this stuff is that it wasn't too long until my son specifically, until he turned 12, 13 years old, where he discovered his love for basketball. While watching TV, watching the NBA, or playing it at school, uh, in the schoolyard with his friends, and fishing and golf. These things happened within the last couple years, and now he's latched on, he's got a, his own set of golf clubs, he loves golf, and fishing, boy does he ever love fishing. He's got his own few fishing rods. Today, I went out and bought him his first big tackle box. These things have now just naturally, naturally developed in him. And this summer, he's in basketball camp, he's in, he just finished a summer basketball league, and now he's in a uh, summer basketball league. 
And so it, it seems like he just, uh, he's uh, off and running. And now as a parent, I just get to just be very prideful and very, uh, very happy and, and enjoy this ride and cheer him on to be the best in this, these very talents that he's selected and that he's developed in or he's developing in and to be a support bar, a support factor. And he's doing so well. And you want nothing greater. There's nothing greater than seeing your kid do what they love to do because they chose it. Not because we pressured them or we, we, we imposed it upon them, but because they took a natural interest in that very thing. My daughter, same thing. Tried so many different activities. I tried so many different things with her. And her very passion and heart is art. Anything, uh, drawing, painting, creating, anything at all. Like she just made uh, a full costume of a favorite Pokemon of hers. And maybe I'll show it in, in right here. It might come up right here in the picture. But she is amazing. So now I get to just relax. Kids don't need to have four, five, six, seven different talents or things that they love. They just need one thing. One thing that they passionately love, and we get to be the driving force behind that to push them, continue to push them in that direction because it's natural for them, because they chose it. So if there's a message in this video uh, today is that you just relax. Don't stress out over your, over your kid's talent and not being able to identify it. Just let time and space um, do its job. And once they find it, just get behind it and be the driving force, the driving belt, the chain on the bike that just propels them forward in that very passion that they love. Well, that's it for me today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you if you did, go ahead and like and subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already. We'd love to have you as the next member of the FC crew. And again, thanks for the 900K, guys. With that said, keep safe, keep focused, and I'll catch you on the flip See ya.